Another day in Minecraft, or actually day 470, uh, 447. What we have here is quite a noisy machine, uh, and it's not originally uh, uh, stated in the book, but uh, this is a uh, uh, bamboo farm. And it's actually it's six modules one two three four five six as I figured uh, I need three well one such module can uh, uh, supply three furnaces and uh, if we go down here we have a furnace array of 18 furnaces and currently it's still filling up at this location here it's still not quite uh, finished uh, back here at the end I have a comparator to take the output from the last hopper to basically turn off and on the machine so if we have basically this is the is the same design as we had uh, in the starter and everything that's cobblestone should be uh, replaced by uh, by glass uh, important bit that I uh, miss because here we are in the cave so basically light levels are low bamboo uh, only grows at light level 9 or higher that's why glowstone at the top uh, so if we have a look in here bamboo falls down into a collection water stream system and comes out here shoots uh, against this chest and uh, then aligns with this uh, cobblestone wall so the uh, these hoppers can be uh, picking uh, the bamboo up then here for the loading system of the of the uh, furnaces we have hopper on top with uh, minecart rail uh, for the return system a detector rail with uh, repeaters with four tick delay which powers this block and then powers this powered rail sending sending the minecart back so let's have a look at, at the uh, loading system we have uh, three double chests uh, worth uh, offloading so uh, let's put some uh, end stone in here and see how that goes we have a minecart in here um, one mistake that I made was uh, placing the minecart on this block but if it's on this block uh, it will not detect uh, if it is full which is done by uh, that detector rail down here so this piston will not retract and the minecart will never send off so um, while we are waiting for all this to uh, trigger through I have a bit of an update. I uh, managed to get my uh, skin back. I still am thinking about a new skin but uh, not found the right one yet. I uh, uh, also added some uh, resource packs, uh, more mob heads, uh, basically mostly for for decorations then killing the dragon drops in elytra uh, shulker shells always drop in pairs and the uh, armor stand book uh, 
yeah S let's see how that goes and that's all of them so back to the game still some endstone to be loaded so currently there are uh, multiple projects uh, going on village breeder comes comes along nicely basically the breeder part is is done I will show you in a in a another video um, but then there all the, the follow-up steps are still need to be done then there is the project for the uh, wizard tower which will house the uh, uh, nether portal the uh, enchanting table and uh, uh, brewing stuff um, I have a basic idea how to do that and uh, one ingredient is endstone smelted so uh, and brick as a foundation then uh, I have an idea where to uh, house the uh, village trading hall how to do that but that still needs some some digging and then some uh, some building um, and then near that we'll we'll have uh, an iron farm and um, uh, that will basically be a, a somewhat uh, a industrial uh, uh, feel to it. So the, the build styles vary a bit uh, in this area and uh, they might even clash a bit. So for example uh, the iron farm is more industrial while the wizard tower uh, that would be uh, a fantasy style and then we will have our uh, beach house which uh, will probably still be a different style but I'm not that worried about uh, uh, all the styles fitting together even if they are uh, close by the main point here for me is uh, uh, improving my building skills. So how far along are we here? Empty. This emptying out. Uh, basically everything should fit into the minecart. So waiting a bit longer so for decorations uh, here I uh, thought uh, I talked about the, the glass here and but then basically replacing everything with uh, with stone uh, to give it a, a unique uh, feel so let's have another peek. Yeah, we are getting there. So let's see how this works. This should be uh, evenly distributed through the uh, furnaces, but as the and there it goes. Uh, but as the the first furnaces have uh, are already uh, supplied uh, with with bamboo, they should start smelting. Should they? Can we smelt endstone? I'm not so sure anymore. But how do we get end bricks? Oh. 
Oh, I thought we could get end bricks by smelting endstone. Apparently not. Okay. You learn something every day. Okay, so that's was it almost from the super smelter. Here we have the uh, output, which basically uh, is feeding this block here. But there will be uh, a collecting system that basically sends the uh, items uh, back up so that in the end I only have to uh, fill these chests. Don't worry about the, uh, uh, the this machine here and uh, can pick up the, the stuff somewhere else. Okay, that's it from this port. See you in the next one.